Let's look to the past to create contemporary looks. Hi and welcome, I'm Katie Hacker. Today on my beading lesson, we'll make easy charm jewelry. Then, Cindy Holt blends her own colors and uses scraps to create today's designs with the ancient art of Mokume Gane with polymer clay. Then Jill McKay is back with a quick leather tip, and it's all today on Beads, Bobbles, and Jewels. So let's get started with one of my favorite necklace designs. And I love the way this looks because it's really simple to put together and you can completely customize them for different people. Like let's say you're making these for gifts or to go with different outfits. It all starts with some findings and a special bead. So I like to use these natural stone beads in different shapes. And I always choose one that's a little bit hefty, but it's a little bit flat too, because this whole piece is gonna be kind of, it's not gonna have a whole lot of raised areas on the pendant when you're finished. So everything kind of lays in the same plane. I also like to use a big toggle, and then we're going to layer some smaller elements together, like little spacer beads, bead cap. I like to use a winged thing, like these butterflies, birds, or bee, and then some little crystal, and you also need a few findings. So it's really simple to put together, and it's kind of about choosing which pieces you like best. So let's start out with one of these bigger beads. And sometimes these holes are a little bit bigger than the head pin that I have. So you can just use a little spacer to cover up and make your head pin a little bit bigger. That also adds a little bit of design element there at the bottom. And you can layer some different things together, like now you might try a little butterfly. And then we could put a crystal here at the top. And another, I'm not going to use these on a lobster clasp, but you could connect these to a lobster clasp and then they'd be easily removable. On your necklace. I'm just make a basic loop here with my round nose pliers and now I'm going to turn this and attach a jump ring. And the reason I'm using a jump ring is because it just adds some extra movement with the pendant. And it's bigger too so that if I wanted to use a big chunky toggle like this I don't have to make a giant loop with my head pin. So then always opening our jump rings to the side and then closing it and you'll hear a little click as they, the ends brush past each other. You'll know that it's attached. And now when you're using chain for a necklace like this, you can just open one of the rings. You don't need a jump ring here. This is unsoldered and I'm using the back side of my bent nose pliers to just twist it open and I'll connect my clasp directly to it. And then we'll finish the other end with another side of the toggle. Of course there are lots of different types of toggles and all kinds of different styles. So you can choose one that works well with the rest of the elements in your design or pick one that has a theme that you like. A lot of them have little leaves. This one you can see has a pattern at the top there. And then to wear it, you would fasten it in the front like that. Now, if you wanted to choose a different kind of chain, this is a finer look and that would give you a little bit, you know, more delicate, but still look great with a piece like this. Another idea is to attach that same type of dangle to the loop side of the toggle. We'll choose this one this time. I like to mix up my metallic colors. You can close this with your pliers. So I have my beaded piece and my toggle. And then I can just take some leather and go to the center of your cord. Now we're going to make a lark's head knot. So we'll just pass this through pass the loop through, and then pull our cords through the loop, and then pull it tight. And this is another look that you can create, it has a little bit more bohemian flair. And then we'll just tie these ends in an overhand knot, so wrap this loop around your fingers, and then pass it through. Then we'll cut these ends off, and that's an easy necklace that you can just slip over your head. Let's take a little look here at the earrings. This is another idea for using a toggle clasp in a slightly different way with the same combination of layered elements.